Alrighty, so today I'm gonna to be working on the DIY catch can. Oh. So I've gone ahead and gotten started and I'll show you what I got going on. So we have the two end caps. They go on there. They're not the precisest fit. Now, they don't fit super accurate, but they're pretty dang close. Are they close enough for me to weld? Um, so let me show you that. And this cap. On top of there. Oh, line it up. Yeah, it's hard to look through the camera and line stuff up. Yeah, they fit decently. And then, so, uh, one requirement of this catch can has to be over a court, one US court for the racing series that this car is going to be competing in. So, it's a little hard to find catch cans that are that large, hence, one of the reasons I'm making one. And this one would be roughly 1.5 quarts, maybe a little bit closer to 1.6. And then it'll have some baffling in it, which there's some cheaper ones that are rather large, like two quarts, one quart, but they don't really have baffling. So I'm going ahead and made my baffle plate. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to have it sit up here close to the top. And it's angled like that, and it actually does slide in. So I'll go ahead and slide it in so you'll kind of get an idea. A little, little drop in, you can see it sits in there like that, but it'll sit at the top. So when this is at the top, it will it'll sit relatively like that. I mean, obviously it's not perfectly in there at the moment, but it'll hold basically steel wool up there. Um, it'll drill a bunch of holes in that little plate. So this plate right here is gonna have a bunch of holes drilled in it. That's what I'm gonna get ready to do next. And then one of those top plates or bottom plates will have a hole for a breather. So I'll have two dash 10 AN lines going into it and they will go in directly behind this flap here and they'll be pushed down, like the, the air will be pushed down and then I'll have to go through this breather to go up through it. And so what I'll also end up doing is I'll put a baffle on the bottom, not all the way touching the bottom, but just down here and that's here from sloshing too much. So the race car actually has to compete, or the catch can has to be on a car that has to compete for extended periods of time, five, six plus hours minimum, and sometimes uh, closer to 19 hours. So it has to be able to hold a decent amount of oil or at least go to two hour stints before it's being drained. It does have to be drained. So it's a little background of what I got going on. I'll show you when I get some more stuff done. All right, so I went ahead and got my little plate that's gonna hold all my steel wool, and that's gonna be my filtration system or my baffling system. It's gonna try and trap the oil. So this has a bunch of holes in it. Basically, I calculated the area of my filter that's gonna go on top. That's a 1.5 inch filter. So it's like right around 1.76 inches squared. And what I wanted to do is match that, at least match that with these holes. I don't wanna be any restrictions with you know, the air getting backed up down in the actual can itself. I want to be able to flow as easily as possible. So what I did was I, all these big holes are equate to the area of the filter. And there's actually one extra one. I only needed 18 and I did 19. So they're slightly larger there. And then all these little holes make up a little bit more. And obviously the little holes are having an easier chance of getting oil just completely covering them and they won't drain as well. So that's why I did the big holes. Another benefit I have is that when this little sucker is actually set in here, so that I can get it to slide down in, you can see there's not a perfect fit up all the way around, which some of you might say is bad, but I say it's good. Because if there's oil on the sides of the cylinder, it's going to want to run down. So if it runs down and there's just opening there, you just keep running down. No big deal. But if it's completely sealed, I have to run down, then go find one of those holes, which can be a bad or not bad, but it could take some extra time. And then so we have that baffling, and I'm going to weld that baffling in at the top. The one corner will be in here, so it'll drop across and then go over. And right where that little angle side is is where I'll fill, send the um, dash tan lines in to the tank. All right, so I've gone ahead and got these two dash tan AN bones welded on. Not the prettiest of welds, but, you know, new to aluminum TIG. Um, and you can see in there, you can see kind of my baffle holes from the plate I have in there. 
went ahead and welded the bottom plate onto. Um, so, and what I did is I put a vertical baffle on the bottom and it's got like crossover points in it. So it still shares each side of the container, but that's just to help reduce the slosh and uh, like whatever oil, fuel mixture, water, vapors that they get in there. Since this will be on a race car again, it's not gonna be something that can be drained very quickly. Um, so just to help keep them sloshing and going back into the engine area. And I did go ahead and weld the top on too. Uh, again, not pretty. I needed an inch and a half pipe right here and I only had a two inch, so I had to cut it down and bend it into shape. And hopefully, yeah, you can see the baffling in there. You can see that one side has baffles. That side is a flat and has no baffle or no holes through it. So that side has a lot of holes. And that's where I have the transition of the angle to then flat over here. And I'm going to pack it with my steel wool. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get that in there. So I've gone ahead and I've packed the steel wool in there. I'm using a number three coarse. So rather coarse stuff. And I'm just packing in there a little tighter. Um, what I am going to do is see how the car runs. Um, see how much it pushes through still. If I still think too much vapor is coming out, like meaning the oil vapor coming out of the breather on the top of this can. Um, then I can pack in some of the finer stuff I have, or I can pack it tighter with that coarse stuff. So, not that big of a deal. It's one of those things I can just try it out and see how it does. And I'll go ahead and show the car it's going on. It is a little race car Civic. Um, it's got a little lovely turbo B18, nothing crazy but it only has a normal stock breather that's, and this breather is usually into the intake, which pulls a vacuum, so it makes it a little bit more effective, where we are gonna be venting to atmosphere, and we're gonna be doing it in a long race, so that little breather is not effective, and hence the reason we are going to this bigger 1.6, 1.7-ish quart um, catch can. So, throw the filter on, show you what my final product is. So this is what the final product looked like. Uh, you can see the little filter added on top to keep it from entering into the can. All right, so the argument can be made of why didn't I just go ahead and buy an Amazon one? Um, obviously it's hard to find one this size and the ones that are the size are either really expensive or of poor quality. This one was only $13 for the four weld-on AN bungs and then another 15 bucks for the filter on top. So. $28 basically.